Good morning YouTube. We're doing this video yet again. And this one may be a little long. And there's a couple of reasons why you'll understand why I'm making the video. This particular little scenario you see here, if you see to the right, I'm I'm responding to a couple of people that says what they said, you know, I'll show you a screenshot of that in a minute. But you see it says a gold of $5 million. Now down here at the bottom, it says some other stuff as well, okay? But I want you to pay close attention to this right here. Kickstarter. Doesn't have an ER. When you click on this, this is where you go over and you sign up to these people and you give them a donation of what you want to give to this organization, not to a Kickstarter of any sort. Okay? Now, let me explain that to you. That means that they can change the numbers anytime or anyhow they want to. They can change the way the format is read any way they want to. Well, I've done this before, and yesterday, or the day before, this is the page, yet again, where you see the line going all the way across, where it actually is supposed to tell you 71%, but it don't. It says it's loading. The reason why is this is the cash page, okay? doesn't show you but you see a gold of one of five million well it didn't start that way okay it did not start that way okay now you see the page here where it says 730 uh, seven, just say 732,000 okay well, I ain't gonna finish the rest of that you can see it now if we go back over here to my page right here it says 517,000 okay you see that right now down here a little bit let's go down here a little further alright and here's another screenshot where it says 697,000 13% funded you see that right and while I'm here I will also show you that this was my video with his ad and another ad this is monographs with an ad and an ad. Okay. This is Mark Dice with an ad. Here is Dabu Seven with a very long version commercial on his page and a commercial over here. And then uh, Susan, I can't pronounce her last name, but anyway, here you go. This is uh, another ad. And just like I told y'all before, here's another one on SO's page. Here and here. Okay. I wasn't going off on anyone. I'm just showing you whose photos. I told y'all I was going to put this on another blog, but I ended up putting it on the same one so you could see it for yourself. Uh, point being, because I'm not trying to start no war with no one. I ain't. I'm just trying to get the truth out of everyone. And you can see right here where I say it's got 700,000 gold, 5 million. You see that? Okay. Now, I also have something else to show you. He made another video, and that's this one. Okay. And we're going to play a look. I ain't going to be able to let you hear that. I'm going to have to cut in here so you can hear it. But I want to show it to you so you can see it. So we're going to show it, and I'll cut the audio in here in the, in the video. So listen. So just pay attention to what's fixing to happen, okay? He says republic, representative democracy, okay? You see that, right? That's all I wanted to show you to start with. But the main amendment that tipped the skills from the national government of the United States being a mere republic to being a true representative democracy was the often overlooked 17th Amendment, 
which took effect in 1913. And I want you to understand something. I got two things I'm going to give you to that as well in this video. 17, uh, I mean, sorry, 1913 is when the 17th Amendment was passed, and that's when we become a representative democracy. Uh, isn't that uh, a little after the Act 1871? Uh, yeah, I think it is. Uh-huh. I, I sure do. I think that the Act 1871 has destroyed our country. Everyone that is awakening up has come up with all of these scenarios and everyone keeps saying 1913. Well, guess what, folks? It goes back further than 1913. It goes back even some more laws before that as well of 1871 that we need to correct. We are not living by the true republic in which we were given. We are not. We, we are not. We are living with a representative democracy. We are. And we are living and are being pushed into a, a full democracy. And we all know what happened to Rome, don't we? They fell. They collapsed. A dictator took over. Kind of like Obama. Wouldn't you say? Let's see, he doesn't have a hmm, correct birth certificate. You can't uh, impeach him because of that. That's a fact. Look it up. He's not, he's not a real president. If he's not a real president, you can't impeach him. That's a law. No shit. You'll have to look it up. I'm not going to that much trouble. This video is going to take longer to do than I can do for you. But you can't arrest him for fraud and all kinds of other stuff. Why they haven't done that, I don't know. He's uh, actually passed a law of terrorism uh, and he fits the bill for that one. He sure does, mm -hmm. no doubt. Now, the reason why I'm making this video, it's not to destroy or harm. I'm making this video to explain history a little bit. Which he should be doing because he, in my opinion, he is a constitutional graduate of law. Okay? Now, he should know all these things. If he was pushing for the right thing, he would not say representative democracy. He would be trying to get rid of the representative democracy because that law is that law gives the power to the government, more or less. Uh, I mean, it's just straight up. We need to abolish the Act of 1871. We can't do anything to what he's trying to do until he does that. Now, whether he's working on the right thing or he's trying his best, he may be. And I'm not going off on him for that. He's trying. He's doing something. Okay, but is he stealing from the people? I don't know. Uh, is he on the right side of defense? I don't know that either. But when you push democracy, in my opinion, when you push democracy worldwide, which is in most countries already, and <clears throat> there's some form of representative democracy in probably 70% of the world. And I'm going to be quite honest with you folks. If we don't get rid of that, we're going to come become a full push for democracy, which I think that's what the New World Order is, is complete democracy. That's where they control you 100%, and you're indebted to them for the rest of your life. Now, that's the best I can tell you all and the best I can show y'all. The only thing I can tell you is this guy, I'm not sure if he's on the right side. I'm pointing to the fact that he might be on the wrong side. Um, 
I found a lot of information. There's a lot of screenshots for a different, bunch of different pages here. You can look them up for yourself. I didn't provide you the links back. I gave you the screenshot of the page. You can actually do your own research and look this guy up. I'm tired of doing all the research without help. Uh, I did the research for myself and I put it up. Oh, and by the way, he is a writer for the Huffington Post as well. Okay. You, you see right there where it says it was updated from you know who? Okay. Now, what that means, I don't know. Does that mean Huffington Post is on the wrong side of the fence too? I don't know. They're sort of mainstream as well. Um, not to say that it's bad. I'm just telling you straight up. Do you want to be free or do you want to be a slave? That's what we come down to. That's where we come down to and that's where this link takes you. Do you want to be a slave or do you want to be free? I'm being honest folks. It, it is up to you. We are a representative democracy. Yeah, we are. Since 1913. Uh, and, you know, before that, we were a republic. Sure was. And it was changing rapidly from the Act of 1871, where the Act of, or not the Act, but where the Federal Reserve was beginning to be created. Took them a few years to pass the laws to get it there. That's why everybody tells you that this has been in the works for many, 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 many years. And why Benjamin Franklin said, if you can keep it, <clears throat> that means, that means if we the people acknowledge, since we all do know we have a problem, acknowledge that we have a problem we can fix this but it's up to us to fix it the first step is a push to stay at home July 5th and July 6th and the reason why is those two days is to push everyone to stay home so they can wake up to the act that they have been ripped off and we are a democratic republic. We are not a democracy. People need to know that. For their self. And for you. It's up to us people. To free us from being slaves. Y'all don't want to be slaves no more, do you? I don't either. It's for our children and their children and our grandchildren. And I'm going to be quite honest with you folks. There's more countries out there than just ours that are having the very same problem as we are. We all, we all need to fight for our republic. From my cold dead hands, abolish the Act of 1871 for your freedoms if you truly love it. We win the day. The 4th of July will no longer be known as an American holiday, but as the day when the world declared in one voice, we will not go quietly into the night. We will not vanish without a fight. We're going to live on. We're going to survive. Today, we celebrate our Independence Day. Please go to the links in the below sections so you can actually see the real information and all the information that goes along with the story that I may be telling you. So you can see the truth of everything, including the Act of 1871. So much love to y'all. Y'all have a great evening. And for my cold, dead hands, abolish.
back in 1870.